Hi, sorry. Hello. No, no worries. Happy to uh, have you with us. I'm Bill Douglas, and this is Raphael. Okay. This is nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> and um, are you Yurong? Yes, I am. Hi, Yurong. Nice to meet you. It's too early here in New York. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dreaming. <laughs> it is. I feel the same way. Um, yeah, I was just telling uh, Raphael, he's he's kind of the fortunate one, you know, he's in Europe, so he's right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me. Yeah, it's it take me a while to get this wrong award. It's not easy to access. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, I had to go through it a couple of times before I felt more more comfortable with it. Um, so, you know, I don't know if, if anyone else will be uh, will be joining us. Um, I'm thinking probably not, even though, you know, I had hoped that we could all all be here. But we'll keep an eye out. Mm -hmm. And okay. in, in the meantime, the three of us might as well uh, just get acquainted and talk about, you know, especially, I, you know, I just wanted to kind of make sure I'm addressing everyone correctly on the on the meeting. Um, uh, you're wrong. You go by your first name. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, I go by Bill. Raphael goes by Raphael. Yep. Um, and then just thought I'd, you know, uh, uh, maybe jump into it since we're a little, uh, behind our schedule now, find out, uh, just talk about what we want to talk about on the call. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's, it's rather, you know, pretty good timing for this, uh, for this topic, you know, given that, uh, Recep, if I can, uh, you know, call it that, R the RCEP, Asia's New Trade RCEP. Pact, has just, you know, has just, you know, come out of the gate basically two days ago. So, uh -huh. you know, that's going to kind of be on everyone's minds, I think. And that's a good sort of uh, uh, meaty, uh, strong topic for us to uh, for us to address. Mm -hmm. I hear Raphael Green. What do you think? You're wrong. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. so. It's, uh, but we don't know. We don't know what is next, right? So I think this is a good topic to discuss about that. You know, yeah, it's crazy time. Yeah. So we'll what is the globalization? Uh, what type of the pictures in next step? We, we, you know, I think so we need to talk about it. Good, good. Yeah. Um, you're wrong. You're you're in New York, and uh, which uh, place in East Asia are you from originally? Uh. Beijing, China. You're from Beijing. Okay, great. So you're great to, you bring uh, yeah. you know a, a, a good perspective uh, yeah. to the discussion, and you know um, everyone's tired of hearing about uh, about about the coronavirus, um, but you know I do think that has some bearing here because it also mm -hmm. is sort of helping to, is, is is sort of uh, realigning some um, uh, some 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 powers worldwide in a, in a sense to some degree, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know I think. Obviously, the virus is still raging in, in the U.S., terribly so. It's still raging uh, in some European capitals, mm. um, and it's still going strong in India. Uh, but elsewhere in Asia, particularly East Asia, uh, China, and I think uh, to some degree South Korea, both mm. of them have uh, rebounded. Um, and, Viet and Vietnam. Already. Vietnam. Vietnam too? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And very interesting. Okay. So really even uh, a country that's much further, that's, you know, a bit, a bit, uh, further behind in terms of development, they're doing. Uh, they've, they've brought it under control, doing quite well. Actually, right actually, China and Vietnam will probably uh, the only one, the only two, let's say, uh, significant economies that we we will have a positive growth in the GDP this year. Amazing. I don't think I don't think South Korea will have it, but Vietnam will. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So do you have any? Is that either of you have any sense of uh, Singapore and have they turned a corner and are doing well again? I'm not sure about that. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah, yeah. Singapore is uh, because Singapore economy where they come from is from, I think, the global right, uh, mm -hmm. international enterprises. Uh, they are like a, kind of like a center. I think with this situation, it's hard mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let's see, we have, we won't have a lot of time on the, on the discussion, assuming that, that all of us, you know, uh, are able to make it, we'll have 45 minutes. Um, so we have those two, those two topics, RECEP, yep. uh, COVID's effect on economies uh, and globalization. Any other, uh, any other ideas or suggestions for topics that you'd, you'd like to cover? Well, I don't know if we should, we should really 
answer the question, right? It's it's like why Ace yeah. is a champion. Uh, no, I that's mean, a good it, point. if if we if we really want to answer that, it's gonna mm-hmm. it's gonna take long. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> we need to go back to uh, history. So I, I don't know. Maybe we can we can mention some some uh, specific uh, features that Asians have in common if if that can be addressed okay but uh, in general terms coming from the asian tigers and japan and then china and then mm-hmm. asean is, is a little bit like the 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 path that the, the asia has been following uh basically attracting the fdi right and and doing cheap, cheap exports in the first uh stages of the uh, growth right, right. So maybe we can mention something about that. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. I, I agree. Uh, that's uh, that's a good topic, and and clearly we want to uh, be sure that we're addressing the, you know, the question that's posed. And also, um, if we if we have any Indian in 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 the group, I'm not sure about that. Uh, yeah, we do. We do. Yeah, yeah. Sudhir Sharma, I, I I just joined, so I'm sure he'll be engaged. Great. So uh, yeah, we should mention that India India just stepped out one year ago of the RCEP, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, we can analyze that too, because India is relevant, of course. Yeah, there's sort of, that's, India has come up a lot in discussion, in, in coverage of the RCEP, just saying, listing them along with the US as sort of almost like the, the you know, the phrase that's used is like the losers of the deal, right? The ones who are kind of left out and not uh, participating. Um, but it was their own decision, as far as I know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I, I wonder. I have to look into that. Is that because of this uh, inc- border incident uh, uh, with, uh, in the Himalayas with China and I think animosity? I think it's two, in my opinion, two reasons why they are quite afraid of being uh, floated with Chinese products. That's one. Mm-hmm. And the second one is clearly geopolitics, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Pakistan is in the uh, China side, clearly. So India doesn't want to go in that boat. They prefer to, let's let's say, stick with the U.S. So it's mm-hmm. kind of, yeah, these two sides uh, uh, position. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, good. And then uh, there, there is this... This this question in the uh, in the descriptor: How is Asia impacting the global economy and potentially shaping the very nature of globalization? So that's you know I think that's an interesting question because it um, it, it, it it sort of speaks to the shift a shift in 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 power and uh, and sort of the realignment of the the global economy. I mean I think even 15 years ago, if people had had someone had said that you know Asia would would shape the very nature of globalization, it might not have seemed uh, uh, very believable, but it, I think it certainly is now. Um, any any comments on that? I think we're already there, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just uh, this is a uh, this is supposed to be like a long talk, but you know, if you go back, you know, when they started, and this is what this decade, two decades. Uh, you just look at the China, the change mm-hmm. of China. I think they already, you know. Studies of the way the U.S. and China is, uh, they are, you know, the competition or what Trump name it is anime, you know, and mm-hmm. I think this is the one big concern, right? It's because China is uh, really influence the globalization or influence, you know, the the development in Africa or in some other regions or you know Asia Pacific. So, yeah, I, I think it's you know it's. It's it's a shaping the global globalization or global world or economy culture in many aspects. So it's a, yeah. You know. I think I think we should mention here about the WTO, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, which has which is uh, yeah, kind of shaping the rules of international trading or commerce for the past decades, and mm-hmm. uh, and China is quite into saving WTO, which is almost there uh, because of basically U.S. Uh, pressures. So uh, yeah, China is more into that, right, into w- into opening. Right now right. it's uh, expanding, opening. 
And uh, China has uh, taken with him uh, with it uh, all the Asian countries, in my opinion. So that's that's the way they're shaping. They are, they hey yeah, we are opening our borders. We we want free trade. We want uh, everybody to trade with everyone. And uh, yeah. on the other hand, we have the the U.S. right trying to uh, a little bit uh, stay uh, more close, at least with the uh, Trump uh, uh, mandate. So mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Asia is clearly uh, shaping that with China in the front, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the WTO entry was really uh, quite a turning point for China, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The year 2000. Mm-hmm. Oh, my yep. goodness. can't believe it's been 20 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's almost how many years I've been here in the U.S., Oh, is that right? Okay. But what originally brought you over to the U.S., you're wrong? I was actually, you know, uh, it's to, I came to the U.S., I went to Cornell uh, to get um, my, my MBA. So this Excellent. is 1996, actually, 1996. Oh, wow. Then I was studying for one semester, and then, then I got, uh, I was looking for part-time job, and then I got a full-time job, you know, work for Paul Corporation. It's on Long Island. This is why I've been here. I have you know, since then I've been, 1997, I got a full-time job. Uh-huh. So I was just, you know, start. actually I've been very lucky. Since then I've been traveled back to China. It's like at least five trips a year. Oh my so goodness. Then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is like a, this time, I came back from China last September. This is like the longest time, you know, I have mm. not been back to China. <laughs> wow! Amazing. For this reason, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Very, well, very lucky. Actually, I experience. I see China how they changes. You know, every time I go yeah. back and I travel around China, you yeah. know, business development, uh, marketing job, and I just see how China changing. You know, so quickly. So I don't know efficiently. I think. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's really quite quite phenomenal. Uh, yeah. As I mentioned to Raphael, um, my first trip to China was as a young boy back in 1984, mm-hmm. um, and then I did a lot of work there in the 90 in the 1990s, especially in the late 90s. So uh, uh, it, it's uh, changed more than you know really any any country in the in in world history. I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Um, Okay, well, I think we have some uh, some good topics here. You know, uh, just like with yeah. any other panel, I want to to, to open it. Uh, you know, I'll briefly introduce myself, and then I want to give each of you uh, a chance to introduce yourselves and and kind of give your bio, talk about yourself a little bit, um, and then you know, um, my role here, obviously, as a moderator, is just to kind of set the table and uh, and and cue these uh, these these meaty topics up for uh, up for discussion. Mm-hmm. So, you know, by all means, between now and uh, Monday, uh, November 30th, when we have our, our, our discussion, you know, let's keep the lines of communication open. By all means, if you have if something pops up in the news that you want to uh, uh, highlight or, you know, if there's a topic that comes up to your mind that you'd like to discuss, uh, let me know. And I'll kind of put it in uh, in the agenda and I'll I'll circle uh, I'll circulate a document before uh, just to uh, to everyone just so we can, you know, uh, have that. And if there are any changes or anything, you know, by all means, let me know. Okay. That's great. And, and you know, uh, you tell me, uh, you know, obviously it's just the three of us here on this, uh, here on this planning call. I had hoped that, that everyone could make it. So out of six of us, only three of us are here. Um, we could try to, you know, reschedule and have another, another call. I mean, I'm going to let Frank know, uh, that it was, you know, half of the, half of the panel was here. On the other hand, you're wrong. You know, it's it's uh, these calls are a bit on the early side for the two of us. <laughs> um, so, you know, what, what do you think? Do you, would you like to try to uh, reschedule a planning call with a bigger group or just uh, I'll orient them by email and we dive straight in on Monday the 30th? I, I think in my opinion, I mean, I don't care if you if you if you okay. if you want to do it, just do it. Uh, okay. But uh, I mean, it, it would it wouldn't be nice for you to wake up early another day, right? Uh, mm-hmm. or, or maybe we can we can stick with the same timing of the real meeting on the thirtieth. Uh, I don't know, I, but for me, it's not necessary. Uh, I think we can keep it online. I mean, emails or something. Mm-hmm. That, you yeah, know. I think maybe we can exchange emails to say, 
you know, and from your side is uh, like at least, uh, you know, what is uh, like possible, the questions. Yeah. We'll okay. ask each of us, you know, we can prepare. Right? Okay, good. Yeah. I'll put that together yeah. and I'll, uh, I'll send that mm -hmm. along for sure. Yeah. yeah. In that, you know, we can before the, our, you know, call and we can prepare, you know, we can exchange the email information, you know, we don't have mm -hmm. to put out the phone, so. Okay. Okay, that sounds it's hard great. It's to up, you know that these days <laughs> because of the COVID, we work from home all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're all home. We're all on video all the time anyway. Yeah, yeah. Raphael and I were chatting about that. Right. Before. Yeah. So, um, uh, okay, well, great. Uh, well, it's great to uh, get acquainted with both of you. Yeah, and, thank you, Bill. Um, like right. I said, I'll, I'll pass that along uh, and we'll continue the discussion on, on email. And um, I think Excellent. that uh, I think that's good for our, for our planning call. Thank you both very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bill. Thank, Thank you, Yaron. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.